I have a secret. Today, I turned 40 years old. I know, I know. You're probably thinking to yourself, how could this guy be 40? He looks so young. But yeah, it's true. I'm 40, and I'm having a really hard time with it. <laughs> no, I'm not. It is my birthday though, and I am turning 40, and I do have a little bit of the old man blues. So today, I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna make an end grain cutting board, and in the process, I'm gonna commit a woodworking sin. The worst end grain cutting board sin ever. You may not like it. You might though. So let's pick out some lumber and have some fun. Welcome to the Comar Project. All right, since I'm old and have a whole family to feed, I don't have a lot of money to spend on materials, so everything that's gonna go into this cutting board is gonna come from this lumber rack or over there. Maple here, go with the walnut. Piece of alder, good old purple heart, no oak. All right, time to uh, start milling some wood. And I'm sure you guys have seen milling done by every woodworker, so let's make it look really cool. Cue the music. Good tunes. The milling wasn't bad either. So we are done. I cut each piece to an inch and a half, and now we're just gonna end up gluing them. And I gotta, I guess I gotta figure out a pattern. I, I don't know how to do that, but I figured light, dark, light, dark, kind of contrast it and go from there. For the glue up, we're using Type Bond 3. It's a waterproof ploof, the waterproof glue, which is gonna be great for a cutting board in case somebody puts it in the dishwasher. And it's got a long working time. So for people like me that mess up all the time, perfect, gives me time to fix it. In order to keep them as flat as possible, I'm putting these boards down and I just have some gaff tape taped to it so it doesn't stick to the piece of wood. They're called calls, and if you clamp your workpiece with these calls, they're gonna help keep it all nice and level. And you wanna do that before you tighten everything down. We are good, it's a hook clamped up. We're gonna let this sit. For the next three days, and the next time you see me, I won't have a beard. So, see you guys in three days. You gonna miss me, Thor? Yeah? You're still the smartest dog in the world. And you think I'm off. Okay, cool. It's been three days. I got a new look, I guess. And let's see what's cooking good looking. 
So everything from the glue up turned out just fine. Everything's right where it's supposed to be. We have some glue lines here that I'm gonna clean off with a chisel, get it ready for the planer, and then we're gonna cut it back up. So I'm using three quarter inch plywood as a sled, and I'm going to hot glue my cutting board onto it, thus giving it a flat reference when it goes through the planer. Then I can flip my cutting board over, run it on the plain side, thus giving me two parallel references. Now that we have a flat and parallel board, we need to cut it into strips. Those strips are gonna determine the thickness of my board. So in my case, it's gonna be an inch and a half, we're almost there. So now that your pieces are all cut, you're gonna wanna use glue again, maybe type on three if you prefer. I like it, waterproof and you're gonna apply liberal amounts of Typhon. I got some glue. And then just glue them together in any pattern you want. Then tighten them. Cutting board, cutting board. Well, let's see what we got going on. I'm about to do something crazy. What are you gonna do, Bart? I am going to run my end grain cutting board through the planer. No! <laughs> but honestly, this running a end grain cutting board through the planer debate is probably one of the biggest ones in reference to cutting boards in the woodworking community. Me, on the other hand, I honestly just don't care, whichever side you take. But if you are going to do this, make sure you try to be as safe as possible be because things can happen. Me, I'm gonna try to be as safe as possible putting the front and the back to the cutting board, maybe even the sides, just to make sure that that end grain doesn't explode. You won't explode, will you? Because I love you. Let's see if it explodes. Now that I have my sled done and the board all secured, time for the PPE. There's nothing. And this is what you get when you're playing through a corner. This is the back side here and you can see tiny little bit of, I guess, folding over, but there is no chip out. And all this little tiny thing is gonna get sanded out. We're gonna be good. Yeah, so I guess I didn't explode. Oh well, now we're just gonna flip the board over and we're gonna plane the other side, making two parallel sides. Next time, I'm gonna wear a bomb suit. <laughs> but honestly, I know I'm gonna get a ton of slack over this. Um, for me, this is safe and it works. Cause I'm a rebel. No. I take the risk in my shop and you guys should only do what's safe for you. So I'm not saying do this or don't do it. Do what's safe. You know what? I gotta figure out how to make this thing sand by itself because I don't have time for this. Sandorium. Sandorium? Sandurium. Oh, just bloody sand. Hey, hurry up over there. And that is how it's done. I'm never ever making finger holds again. Ever.
I'm still 40. But at least I got some really cool cutting boards. I was actually surprised as to how easy these cutting boards were to make. So I guess if you make one cutting board, you can make pretty much any cutting board. So it's just a repetitive process of cutting and gluing. <laughs> so if you like this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you guys don't miss upcoming builds. And if you want to see the behind the scenes stuff of cutting boards like this, plus many other projects, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. I'm very active there and you get to see all the shenanigans and all the issues I get into. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I had a blast making these cutting boards. They're going to serve us very well. I'll see you guys next time.